thank you for your introduction. And uh, I'm very honored to take part in this uh, wonderful forum. Okay, my uh, topic is today is um, uh, building and programming of the four branch National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art Korea. If you see at the bottom, there are uh, same logo with uh, different colors. Uh, at the present, we have um, this uh, Kwachan, uh, which is the uh, head headquarter, and then branch gallery at Toksugung Palace. Uh, then uh, another museum uh, in the center of the city of Seoul is due to open in less than a month. So I told uh, earlier to Fumio Nanja that I shouldn't be here uh, at this moment. I should be really running around uh, to, <clears throat> to get ready. Uh, anyway, then there's another one uh, here. This, is this? Uh, with a blue color. Uh, uh, that branch gallery is due to open in 2015. Uh, about two hours drive from um, south uh, from uh, Seoul. So as you can see, uh, for our museum, it's time of great expansion. From one headquarter branch gallery, then we are opening two more galleries. So I will talk about what this uh, great expansion means uh, for our museum uh, while concentrating on this, uh, the Seoul. Uh, branch gallery. Uh, if I uh, may give you the, uh, the br brief history of our museum, uh, it has less than uh, half a century. It was established in 1969 uh, in a uh, palace. We didn't have any building. Then it moved to another palace uh, compound in 1973. Uh, then in 1986, a new building was built in Kwachan, which is present headquarter. Then uh, the Doksugung Palace uh, became the branch gallery. Then next month, we are building, opening a new branch gallery uh, in Seoul. And 2015, we are building, opening another one at Chongju. So this is the uh, Doksugung uh, Palace. Uh, it was uh, the, our museum in 1973 and became our branch gallery in 1998. And as you can see, it's a modern uh, structure. It was designed uh, during the colonial time by a Japanese architect, uh, Nakamura Yoshihei, in 1937. So it's sort of a Japanese style uh, Renaissance, a uh, modern uh, building. So, uh, as you may see, this is a uh, 1937 building, so the um, building structure is not as, uh, the, the height is very low uh, of the hall. So, this building will uh, focus on the exhibition of uh, art of modern period. Now this is our present headquarter in Kwa Chan, uh, built in 1986, opened in the August. And it's a fairly large space. And as you can see, it's uh, right in the middle of the park. So that's why the color uh, our, uh, of this museum is a green, uh, because it's a museum uh, in the park. It was designed by Korean architect Kim Jong Sung, who is now uh, uh, working in New York City. It has a very large uh, outdoor space, so we have a pretty good size of a sculpture park. And this is the inside. As you walk in, we have the famous Namjoon Pack uh, of 1003 uh, monitors. Uh, the title is The More the Better. And why the uh, number of uh, 1003 is 
October 3 is the uh, National Day of Korea. So he put in uh, 1,003 uh, pieces of monitor uh, to build this uh, gigantic uh, tower. And this is the inside of uh, uh, Kwachan uh, headquarter. Then uh, this is the, uh, before I go into the Seoul Gallery, I'll show you briefly the one it, uh, due to open in 2015 uh, uh, down at uh, Cheongju. Uh, Cheongju, uh, if you see, this is a large uh, factory, ginseng and tobacco. Uh, factory, which is now uh, out of use. And city of Cheongju uh, allowed uh, our museum to remodel it and use as the branch gallery of National Museum. And this space uh, will uh, be remodeled. So this uh, area will be uh, used uh, as a national uh, museum. And it's pretty large, 21,000 square meter. And as you can see, because it was a factory, it has very high ceiling, but it's wonderful space for contemporary art uh, exhibition. But this building will be used mainly as a storage because our headquarters is running out of the storage space. And so this building will be used as a storage, but a storage that can be walked in. Uh, they can be storage and exhibition gallery combined. Then we'll also build a very large conservation center. And this will be the first uh, National Museum of Art outside of Seoul. And this is the uh, uh, picture of how it will be remodeled. So we have a huge uh, headquarter in uh, at Kwachan, and we are building huge storage uh, at Cheongju. So why do we need to build another one uh, in the center of the Seoul city? Uh, the reason is for over 10 years, uh, the artists and art critics uh, of uh, Korea, uh, our art community, uh, had a, uh, launched a campaign to have a National Museum of Contemporary Art not outskirts of Seoul, but right in the center of Seoul city. Uh, because the, uh, the present headquarter, Kwa Chan, is pretty far from the center. It's about uh, 40 to maybe one hour drive uh, from the center. So uh, it has less accessibility uh, than uh, other uh, contemporary art museums. So uh, it was long uh, campaign after uh, 10 years, uh, the government uh, decided to uh, give uh, a space uh, in the center of the city uh, to build a, uh, to allow more accessibility uh, for uh, the art world that's going on uh, at the present time. So where this uh, new site is, not, uh, this is, uh, if you visited Korea, uh, Korea is, uh, Seoul city is roughly divided into two uh, areas. There is a Han River uh, flowing. Then this is a, a northern part, which is called Gangbuk. And southern part is Gangnam. So uh, Gangbuk is an uh, older part of uh, Seoul city. And Gangnam is a uh, more recent, newly built area where all the business centers are uh, there. And the new, actually it's more uh, active area uh, in Seoul. But the site of the Seoul branch will be in the northern part uh, where more traditional architecture uh, uh, is still uh, remained. So this will be the new site and right across from the new site uh, is the major uh, traditional uh, the palace, Gyeongbok. 
uh, palace. Then uh, around this area, uh, this is the protected area of uh, traditional architecture. So there are many small and large traditional housing complex. Then there are more palaces. So when the museum opens, it will be right in the middle of traditional uh, architecture or uh, in the middle of the uh, Korean history. Uh, this is the, uh, the architectural plan, but actually I should, I should be using this because it's all, it's all complete. It says I will show you the, uh, the actual building. So this is the uh, palace. So if you just cross uh, the street, uh, this is a museum that's open on all sides. So people can just walk in and then uh, they can just uh, come to the restaurant and without even visit the museum. So it will be maybe the center kind of a cultural uh, experience. And this is my room so I can look down upon the, uh, the traditional uh, palace. So the project started in 2009 uh, in January uh, at the New Year's gathering, uh, the former president, Lee Myung-bak, announced uh, this uh, uh, site will be given, uh, permitted to build a uh, National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, Seoul. It was a hard de decision because it was a defense security command site. So if you know the uh, contemporary Korean history, it's a area that's not allowed, permitted for uh, ordinary people to walk in. It's almost like a secret uh, service office. And the site area is uh, for the uh, center of the city is pretty large, uh, 2,007,000 square meter. And the, uh, the floor area is also pretty uh, large. It's uh, three stories underground and three uh, stories above the ground. Uh, it's pretty low uh, structure because this entire area is protected uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the height uh, of any new construction. And this entire area is a uh, very unique because it's composed of buildings of three different period. This is uh, Kimusa. Uh, There's a defense security uh, command, and in the back, uh, which was built in during the colonial time, uh, 1929. Then in the back, there is a traditional structure called Jongchimbu. Then in between, this is new uh, structure uh, is built. If I may first introduce what this uh, Kimusa uh, building uh, was in the past. This is still the same, this area. And it was uh, first built in 1929 as a hospital building. It was during the colonial time. And the architect name is Park uh, Kil Yong. Uh, then there was a brook uh, in front. Now it's covered. Then this was uh, the uh, hospital building. Then gradually the hospital uh, expanded. And this is how it uh, expanded over the years. And 2010, uh, this building, the whole site was filled uh, with apartments and uh, the army hospital. But uh, 
just only this, uh, the original building of uh, 1929 uh, remained because it was uh, registered as cultural property, three, uh, property. So in Korea now, any building that's over 50 years are protected as cultural property. So this building uh, cannot be uh, remodeled or retouched. So, but uh, before I show you the building, uh, this building not just was a hospital uh, or a defense security command, but it was uh, the hospital that uh, late President Park uh, Jung Hee, who is the father of President, uh, President Park Geun Hye, uh, he passed at this building uh, after being shot uh, by his very closest aide. Then his wife also passed uh, six years prior uh, in this uh, building. He, she was also shot by a, a uh, uh, he, she was attacked. Then it was also a site where uh, our also former president, John Duhan, plotted coup d'etat uh, in this building. So this is really a building that embraced uh, a history uh, almost of um, uh, 90 years history of uh, uh, Korea. Uh, sometimes they was happy, sometimes not so happy. Uh, this is a funeral uh, shot of uh, President Park uh, departing from this uh, building. So except for this building, the remainder of the site was all pulled down. So in Korea still, a government can do it to uh, allow a site to make it, uh, to transform it into a uh, different uh, building of different functions. So this is the site when I was appointed as a director. It was nothing, it was all just uh, grounded. And only this part uh, remained, and this, all this building uh, was pulled down. But this wasn't there. It wasn't there because in 1981, uh, after the coup d'etat, when John Duhan, President John Duhan became the president, he wanted to build a tennis court. So he pulled down this building and moved it to uh, the nearby public library. But when this site was uh, announced uh, as the site of the uh, National Museum of Korea, uh, the, the Cultural uh, Property Office uh, demanded that the building should be put back to the original space. So the building was uh, pulled down again from the public, uh, at the public library and put back here and almost like a Lego, <laughs> it was put back. Uh, and took about six, uh, more than six months. So this is the uh, building that I'm talking about. This was the original uh, picture uh, prior to be pulled down in 1981. It was a very important building because it was office of a royal family uh, genealogy because this site was part of the uh, Gyeongbok Palace. So it was a kind of official building. Now it's being put back. And this is the uh, building that's now newly built. And here uh, is the 1929 building. If you walk in from the street, you will see the rooftop of the uh, traditional uh, Joseon Dynasty building and you walk in this cafeteria, this lobby, and uh, it's roughly divided into two sections, uh, educational space, uh, lobby, and exhibition, and uh, there's only one exhibition uh, gallery above the ground. The remainder of uh, seven galleries are all built on the ground. As you see here, this is a uh, 1929 building, you walk in from the street, and then there's a lobby, and then you will see the very 
tall, uh, about 17 meter high building. It's, uh, it's like a hut uh, of the building. And uh, this building, from this building, you can approach to uh, the exhibition galleries. And then we have a movie house here. Then we have a multi-purpose hall. And this area is all educational area. Uh, artists can come in uh, as a, uh, to, to work at the site. And the, the architectural concept is a group of islands is put together. Uh, so archipelagos is the concept of the uh, this building. And because each exhibition hall is uh, separate from each other, it, and it's connected through a concept called madang. Madang is a very important element in Korean traditional architecture. Uh, it's the place where people uh, gather together and people come in. It's a gathering place. And uh, so there are seven madang uh, in this building. So uh, even if uh, the remainder of the exhibition halls are built underground, it has a plenty of madang that uh, invites light. And this is the, uh, the concept uh, of this uh, uh, madang. It's called the museum madang, misulguan. Madang. So people will come through the uh, museum Madang and enter. Then there is exhibition Madang. There is a Gyeongbokgung Madang. There is a library Madang. And this is Gyeongbokgung Madang. So this is on the second floor. From this Gyeongbokgung Madang, uh, people will look uh, down on the uh, Gyeongbok Palace. And there is a beautiful mountain in the background, which was a favorite subject matter for traditional uh, painters. This is a uh, scene uh, looked from the uh, Gyeongbokgung Madang. Uh, he's the architect. He's, I think, 41. He's a very young architect. Uh, I always say that he didn't even design his own house. But anyway, he's very lucky. Uh, to uh, be uh, commissioned to build this uh, building. So as you can see, uh, he seems pretty happy as, it, uh, as his uh, concept came out uh, pretty close, uh, I mean, the building uh, to uh, his concept. Uh, this is the, uh, the box area. Uh, this, uh, as I told you, is a hot space. It's right in the middle. Uh, of uh, the, this archipelago. And from uh, uh, people walk in and through the window uh, will watch the, uh, the traditional architecture uh, beyond the, uh, the window. And this is the diagram. So for the opening exhibition, we invite an architect to build another architect. Uh, it's called the house within the house. Uh, the artist's name is Do Ho Seo. He's a very international, uh, global artist, Korean artist. So the installation already started. So people actually can walk in uh, uh, through this uh, silk house. So for the opening uh, exhibition, uh, the major theme is connecting and unfolding. Uh, so uh, connecting means a uh, multi-level, uh, I mean, has a multi-level meaning because this uh, very site is composed of uh, buildings of the different periods from traditional uh, time to 21st century. So we really have to embrace, it's very seasoned building, it's very weathered building. We have to embrace the history and move towards uh, the future. But also, we have to embrace uh, the visitors, uh, that we have to connect with the visitors and the art world. 
and we have to uh, let uh, visitors, museum visitors, to participate uh, in art. So, connective, participatory, and relational aesthetic, that's all uh, embraced in this, uh, our uh, theme. And this will, is being done by, uh, uh, through uh, different curators. And there's another project called Aleph Project, which will be showcased in the, uh, this multi-project hall. I'm going fast because I have 34 seconds. So uh, this uh, building, uh, uh, it, it's situated in an area where this is a number of just on this side. This is our building, surrounded by not just by traditional architecture, but there are so many galleries and museums in this building. So up until recent years, this Kangbuk area, north of uh, river area, was not so ac culturally active area because uh, major, the, uh, the business sector moved down to south of uh, river. So when the museum is, uh, opens, this area will be the north of uh, river will be reactivated and uh, probably uh, enriched by many cultural activities. I think, and that's uh, what I think uh, should be the role of our museum. Uh, this is all uh, cultural properties. Uh, the blue dots are Hano, the traditional architecture buildings, and the yellow dots are museums, and the green dots are art galleries. So our museum will be right in the center of uh, this cultural district. So this is the strategies. Uh, we have to, it's pretty much uh, of uh, all the, uh, the museums uh, of the, uh, the world uh, are sharing. We have to embrace the diversity of uh, different genres, different expressions of art. Uh, we have to create uh, exchange. We have to collaborate uh, with different uh, global art scenes. Uh, we have to contribute to the popularization of the contemporary art because uh, previously our museum was in the outskirts uh, of the center of the city, so it, was limit, it has limited access. So now when this museum opens, uh, both specialists and non-specialists will have very easy access to contemporary art. And uh, we have to integrate all the different uh, forms of expressions. Uh, we also have to specify our own uh, brand, uh, National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art Korea. Uh, this is uh, what I looked out from my office. So uh, it's, uh, it's being very uh, lively. So what I imagine is uh, because this is the first museum in Korea without walls. It's open on four sides. So it'll be open to all the community. Uh, it, and also it will be open to uh, global art scene. I think that's it. Thank you.